hello everyone welcome back so in this video i am going to explain about the sulfur halides and their synthetic applications so this video is the continuation of previous video where we have discussed about the reactivity of sulfur halides that means we have prepared different kind of products from the sulfur halides such as epoxides aziridines cyclopropane derivatives and oxo spiraling derivatives etc from the sulfur halides in the previous video so in this video we are continuing continuing the discussion of the synthetic applications with this sulfur halides the other application with the sulfur halide is the preparation of alkenes so we can also prepare alkenes from the sulfur halides see so in this preparation of alkenes there is a synthetic strategy involved that is the first sulfur halides generally they undergo rearrangement and gives you sulfides these sulfides as we know they undergo alkylation with alkyl halides produce sulfonium ion this sulfonium ion under thermal condition the loss of sulfide which produce alkenes so this is what the strategy involved in the preparation of alkenes where the rearrangement of sulfur halides gives sulfides followed by alkylation of the sulfides gives sulfonium ions and thermal conditions thermal decomposition of the sulfonium ion gives you alkenes so the major application of this strategy is to prepare unsaturated cyclophenes in organic synthesis it is very helpful so this is unsaturated cyclophane we can use this strategy to prepare this cyclophane derivative from sulfur halides so let us discuss the preparation of this unsaturated cyclophane so first start the reaction with the sulfide sulfide so this sulfide when you treat with the two moles of two moles of alkyl halide for example let us take methyl iodide what happens these two sulfides undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction and gives you sulfonium ion sulfonium Yeah. This is stabilized by counter anion. Now, treat this sulfonium ion with a base which abstract the protons, which abstract the protons and produce vicinal ionic intermediates called sulfur halide. sulfur halide now this halide undergo rearrangement here it undergo 1 2 rearrangement see 1 2 1 2 rearrangement which gives you which gives a sulfide
again this sulfide when you treat with the two moles of methyl iodide which produces the sulfonium Sulfonium ion. Under thermal condition, the loss of this good living group which produces the required cyclophane derivative so this is what unsaturated cyclophane derivative cyclophane derivative so generally we can obtain from sulfur halides so this sulfur halide can be prepared from sulfide as we know alkylation of the sulfide gives you sulfonium salts abstraction of protons by base which gives you sulfur halides which undergo rearrangement here one two rearrangement they undergo one two rearrangement and produce sulfides these sulfides when they undergo alkylation with the two moles of methyl iodide produce again sulfonium salts and the thermal decomposition of this sulfonium salts gives you the required unsaturated cyclophane so the other application with the sulfur halides is to prepare alkenes alkenes in organic synthesis so sulfur halides can also undergo rearrangements so the rearrangement of sulfur halides also gives you more stable sulfur compounds so there are different kind of sulfur halides undergo different kind of rearrangements so let us discuss about alkyl sulf sulfonium that means sulfur halides and allyl sulfur halides and benzyl sulfur halides and of course we can also discuss aja and oxa sulfonium halides so let us discuss different type of sulfur halides that is alkyl al sulfur halides allyl sulfur halides and benzyl aja and oxa sulfur halides which undergo generally rearrangement and gives you stable sulfur compounds let us discuss one by one first starts with alkyl alkyl sulfur halide halide so for example if you have a sulfur halide okay for example if you have sulfur halide this sulfur halide generally it undergoes one to rearrangement one to rearrangement see one to rearrangement so that it gives you a stable sulfur compound so when you consider this alkyl sulfur halides okay this alkyl sulfur halides generally they involve in one two kind of rearrangement one two kind of rearrangement that means the re rearrangement of this allyl halide generally gives you a stable sulfides this is in the case of alkyl sulfonium sorry alkyl sulfur halides whereas in the case of allyl sulfide sulfur halides allyl sulfur halides so generally that means you have a sulfur halide so this sulfur salt when you treat with the base it abstract the proton from this methyl group and produces this Halide. Halide. 
now when you consider this allyl substituent when you have allyl substituent in this halide generally it undergo three to sigma tropic rearrangement three to sigma tropic rearrangement So we have observed two different kind of rearrangements here when you consider alkyl sulf sulfur halides that means the sulfur halide has alkyl derivative so that it undergoes one two rearrangement and gives you a more stable sulfur compound when you have allyl substituent that means the sulfur halide which is having allyl substituent so that the base treatment gives you here allyl that means halide and this undergoes three to three to kind of three to sigma tropic rearrangement and gives you a rearranged product consider other sulfide that is the third category that is benzyl sulfur halide sulfur halide so if you have benzyl Sulfonium salt The base treatment of the sulfonium salt produces the Ilide So now this base catalyzed rearrangement of this sulfur halide generally it can undergo two different type of rearrangement let us discuss one by one here. see this sulfur halide can involve can involve in three two kind of sigma tropic rearrangement three two sigma tropic region generally this is possible at low temperature and gives you a rearranged rearranged stable sulfur derivative So this 3 to sigma tropic rearrangement that means uh, when you have this kind of 3 to sigma tropic rearrangement this is like a somlet hazard rearrangement it is like somlet hazard in the somlet hazard rearrangement the base catalyzed base catalyzed rearrangement of this ammonium salts generally produce amines whereas in this case the base catalyzed with the sulfonium salts which produce the sulfides say this sulfonium sulfonium salt in presence of base the abstraction of proton takes place and produce benzyl sulfur halide this benzyl sulfur halide undergoes somlet hazard type of rearrangement that is 3 2 sigma tropic rearrangement which produces the stable sulfide whereas same benzyl sulfur halide Can also undergo one two sigma tropic rearrangement that means it is undergoing like stevens rearrangement it is called stevens rearrangement that means here this is one this is one and this is two and this is one so this undergo one two rearrangement so one two rearrangement gives you a rearranged product see in the both cases so there are two different kind of rearrangements takes place 
at low temperature this benzyl sulfur iodide can undergo 32 kind of sigma 32 sigma tropic rearrangement that is somlate has a like rearrangement whereas at higher temperature it undergoes stevens rearrangement and gives you a stable sulfur compound this is about benzyl sulfur halides so the alkyl sulfur halides also rearrange rearranges like one two rearrangement and gives you organosulfides and allyl sulfonium halides generally they undergo 32 kind of 32 sigma tropic rearrangement whereas benzyl sulfur sulfur halides can undergo 32 kind of 32 sigma tropic rearrangement as well as 1 2 sigma tropic rearrangement that is depends on the temperature so the other case is aza sulfur halides aza sulfur halides so here in the benzyl position benzyl carbon position we have nitrogen so that it becomes aza sulfur halide so this aza sulfur halide also undergo 3 2 sigma tropic rearrangement that is 1 2 1 2 3 gives you unlimited derivatives so consider another sulfur halide that is oxa sulfur halide oxa sulfur halide so where in the place of nitrogen we have oxygen This sulfur halide also undergo 3 2 sigma tropic rearrangement. gives you phenolic derivatives so this is oxa sulfur halides there are different kind of halides we have discussed that is alkyl sulfur halides they can undergo rearrangement that is 1 2 rearrangement sigma tropic rearrangement whereas allyl sulfur halides undergo 3 2 sigma tropic rearrangement benzyl sulfur halides depends on the temperature they can undergo 3 2 that is somlate hazard type of rearrangement or stevens rearrangement whereas aza sulfur halides undergo 3 2 sigma tropic rearrangement and uh, finally oxa sulfur halides also undergo 3 2 sigma tropic rearrangement let us discuss other example for this rearrangement reaction that is take a sulfide which is diallyl sulfide so this diallyl sulfide treat with the bromoethane or ethyl bromate so this sulfur with its lone pair of electrons act as nucleophile and attack onto this electrophile after nucleophilic substitution reaction this sulfur gives you a sulfonium ion. Sulfonium ion. Now, this sulfonium ion you can treat with a base such as sodium hydride 
or lithium, phenyl lithium or whatever. If you treat the base, it abstracts the proton from either side, which is both are symmetrical. So it abstracts the proton and gives you SNL ionic intermediate, also called as sulfur elide. Sulfur elide. So now there are two rearrangements you can observe here. Let us discuss first one. That is, it can undergo 3 to rearrangement so 3 to arrangement and gives you a rearranger product sulfur which is having methyl and there is alline So this can give you a rearranged product if it undergoes 3 to sigma tropic rearrangement. So the same sulfur halide can also undergo to sigma tropic here in it. So this one to rearranger re product if you treat with the rani nickel rani nickel is helpful for the desulfurization process so that you can get a hydrocarbon it's simply a diene you can get a diene here suppose if you treat this one to rearranger product with the alkyl halide this sulfide converts to sulfonium salt followed by thermal decomposition gives you the loss of sulfide can give you triene okay see what happens here totally so the dialyl sulfide when you treat with alkyl halide it undergo alkylation and produce a sulfonium salt okay this sulfonium salt upon treatment with the base so it produces a vicinal ionic intermediate called halide halide right so this halide can undergo three two kind of rearrangement or one two kind of sigma tropic rearrangement if it undergo three two sigmatropic rearrangement it gives you a rearranged product like this and if it undergoes one to rearrangement it gives you one to rearranged product this rearranged product if you treat with the if you treat with the hydrogenation with rani nickel it gives you desulfurized product that is hydrocarbons whereas the same sulfide that means one to rearranged sulfide if you treat with the alkyl halide it generally undergoes alkylation process and gives you sulfonium salt this sulfonium salt upon, upon uh, that means 
uh, applying thermal conditions the loss of this sulfonium that means the loss of sulfide which results the uh, an alkene as we discussed in the previous application so this alkene so totally you are getting a triene so we have different kind of examples where these halides sulfur halides can also undergo rearrangement under the different kind of conditions so in next video we will discuss about the different kind of halides which undergo rearrangement and uh, the named reactions which involves in the sulfur halides thank you